Yeah, and then this was one other thing I had hoped to be able to do with this uh, test rig. So I've got the the adapter plugged into my cordless drill, the uh, power and ground hooked up to a battery pack, and you can see the watt meter, of course, is reading the voltage 20.41. And you can, you can see the voltage drops under load, but I had heard that these meters do not read the reverse current, and indeed it looks like that's the case. So they're able to pick up the voltage from the load side. That's where I have the battery, and the source is now on the drill side, because I had set this uh, connector up to, uh, you know, assuming that the charger is going to send current into the battery, and that's what I wanted to measure. So what I'm going to have to do to measure current, because this is what I did with the Black & Decker batteries, because I, you know, just out of curiosity, see what kind of uh, current these uh, devices take. This is an easy way to measure it, but what I'm going to have to do is make some, uh, like here I have a a, let's see, so I have a female Dean's plug over here and a male off of the adapter. So what I'm going to have to do is make a uh, some gender changers. So I'll have to make a, two female plugs back to back so I can plug the load connector into the watt meter. And then on the other side, I need to have two male connectors back-to-back -back so I can plug the, the source into the battery. Okay, quick, quick little uh, adapter there. I'll put some heat shrink on these later, but just make sure they work. So this is a male-to-male, -male, and then I have a female-to-female -female here. And let's see those go on and then I have to put let's turn these around a bit so this should plug in here to now my drill is the load and my battery should be the source so let's see what that does uh, they're always stiff when you first First few times you put them in. There we go. Let's see. Watt can meter see there. The... Zoom in a bit so you can see that. So we've got 20.4 volts. And let's see if it measures. There we go. So that works. So that also kind of tells me that the power tools maybe don't use that um, these pins here. That might only be for charging then, which is interesting because the drill doesn't seem to care that you know, this battery won't charge, but it runs the drill just fine. So that is some of the experimentation I wanted to use. Yeah, it looks like the drill takes like around 65, 70 watts, no load. But yeah, so now I can, with these little adapters, I can measure what the power tools use, and then hopefully if I can figure out these, uh, those two side terminals here, figure out what those do, I can understand how the charger talks to the batteries. I'll keep you updated at least part of the adapter works so that's uh, and I'll clean these uh, clean these gender changers up put a little heat shrink on them so anyway there's my little uh, craftsman c3 battery adapter or breakout uh, adapter lets me uh, at least I know that I can run a power tool now I just need to figure out how to measure power going into the battery I can measure it coming out now the next step is to figure out how to measure power going in. 
So I'll get back to you when I have something to report there. Thanks for watching.